fishing coast with my father in the summer evening. And uh, the sea was calm, there no wind. There'd be 15, 15, 20 boats within hailing distance of one another. Especially with some of the boats where the crew were, were strong voiced. You could hear that singing coming across the water. And you know, it was, it was some experience. We don't have it now. We don't hear it now. The crew on my boat accept my Christian outlook and they abide by it. When, whenever I suggest uh, making worship, morning or evening, or anything else that refers to my Christian outlook, they just accept it. There's, there's no question asked. But if the day would come that I would be obliged to fish on the Sabbath, I would walk out, I would sell everything. I wouldn't do it because of my religious conviction. Living in a community like this, you've got to be very, very careful. It's very difficult, really, to have a mind of your own. Because you don't want to hurt other people by doing things that you shouldn't be doing. Now, we go to church every Sunday. We've got a prayer meeting on Wednesday night and Saturday night. Now, on Wednesdays especially, I'm working from 8 in the morning, say, till 5 o'clock. And if I don't finish a job, say, by 5 o'clock, I'll be saying, oh, I've got to go to church tonight. And I've got to leave that till the following day, whereas I would love to finish it. If I leave that job and go to church, I'm far happier after going to church. Because I fought against this thing that is in me. That's what I call the world. So it can be a good thing to be watched by people. Because they, they sort of control your Christian life. If somebody saw me going to a pub, their imagination would run away with them. They could say, that fellow was drinking. Whereas if I'm having a drama in the house, for my health, I don't see anything wrong with that. My wife, she's not converted, but I'm hoping that someday she will be. When Calamian was converted, he was younger. And I mean, a young boy of 13 to 14 coming over and saying, Daddy, I've been converted. You, you wonder, now, does this fellow know what he's talking about? So he can be worrying. Now, Myrath was a bit older, and I could understand Myrath far better than I could understand a young boy of 13. I was asked for my older sister to, to go to our faith mission camp, which was to be held in Lossiemouth. We had a barbecue, seeing it was the last night, and I can't exactly pinpoint when I was actually converted, but I can say through personal experience that it was be between nine o'clock on that Friday evening and midnight. Jimmy Tom and Scarpy we had a fellowship on Sunday night. I wasn't a Christian then, but the room was full of young people who were all Christians. There was there must have been about twenty-five people in the room. Uh, and I was just looking at them all and I was thinking to myself, well, they can't all be wrong, they're all fairly intelligent people and they can't be believing in this for no reason. So I started thinking, well, I would like to be like them. And I envied my friends in a way because they were all so happy and they all seemed very content. And gradually I just got more and more interested. And sometime, I think after New Year, I was converted. I can't really say when or how, but I know that a change did come into my life. It is hypocrisy in our church. I myself am a hypocrite in that I would be quite content to wear trousers on the mainland and I wouldn't wear them here in Stornoway. It does say in the Old Testament that a woman shouldn't wear a man's clothing and I know that there are Christians who, who would be very offended if they knew I was wearing trousers. 
You just have to be so careful when you're living in a small community. That's what makes it so difficult for us in the Western Isles. Mm -hmm. Well, I met Joe when we went to college in Skye. We were both in the same, same year. And um, we got on immediately. He came from a Catholic family. I came from a free church family. But when we met, really, that didn't really make any difference to me. And I was very surprised when I told my parents that I was going with Joe at the reaction. They, they advised me to finish with him as soon as possible because he was Catholic. And I was just hurt because they hadn't even met Joe and I didn't know how they could say that. In a way, I see that what the Catholic Church teaches is against the Bible. Not everything, but a lot of it. And our church goes strictly by what's in the Holy Bible. So therefore, we can't really see that there's any sense in the Catholic faith. But there are some people, even Christians, who put down on Catholics who they've never met, you know, and I, I think that's wrong. I don't, I think we should try and understand Catholics better. And. I don't think you can just ignore them. I don't think you can just say, well, they're bad and that's it. You shouldn't, I, I don't like that attitude. I come from the island of uh, Scalpi in Harris in the Western Isles. I've been away from there now for over 20 years. And um, the upbringing I got there is still very significant in my day-to-day -day activities. For me to live my Christian life, whether I be in Glasgow or in the Isle of Skye, I am absolutely the same. Now, Mr. and Mrs. Stephen, the purpose of today's visit is obviously to review your existing investment portfolio. I shall go over them briefly with you, just to bring you up to date. Mm -hmm. Is that all right? I, I, I really can't remember them all. Yes, yeah. quite. <laughs> you, you have them all at home somewhere. Yes, right? well, I don't know where they are, but I'd have to take them out. <laughs> Let's say, for instance, I was to conclude a deal where I got maybe £10,000 of commission. If that gentleman or lady insisted that that business could only be transacted on the Lord's Day, I would politely decline to accept the business. Now you might think that is strange, but again, I feel that if I honor the Lord, he will honor me in his own ways, in his own times. How about the ones that, I mean, I'm more concerned with the ones that are going down in Alistair. I, 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 like, I like the ones that have gone up. Quite, quite. <laughs> Good point. It is very difficult, for instance, to compare in many ways the lifestyle of maybe a businessman as an elder in the Church of Poultry and the lifestyle of an elder who is retired in the Church of Poultry. Let's assume that the elderly person has never been away from the northwest highlands of Scotland and the younger person has met with many different types of people in more cosmopolitan areas like Glasgow, Edinburgh, wherever. I think by and large you do develop a broader outlook on life. I have no hesitation whatsoever in going with my family for a bar meal. And uh, I, I don't find that to be at variance at all with my religious inclinations. Sins in Christ for his name's sake. Amen. Let's